Um, well, stops uh, was one of the big things. Uh, some of our uh, third quarters have been because of uh, maybe missed shots or turnovers, which lead to easy baskets. So we can't get stops. And uh, tonight, those guys made a you know conscious effort of getting stops. But on the other end, they were you know moving the ball, and guys were getting wide open looks. Um, just closing out games. I mean, it, this group. What type of just mental toughness and grittiness have you seen out of them, just in their ability over these last three games to to really close things out and shut the door on teams? You know, I think this group, you know, is uh, playing with a lot of effort um, and energy. But I think the big thing is our trust. Uh, you know, we were playing pretty good there in that first uh, maybe 17 minutes, and then all of a sudden we uh, we had a little lapse um, and we couldn't get stops. We couldn't make shots, but the guys stayed together. We went into halftime down, um, and we came out and, and um, you know we we went on a run, but the guys stayed together. And I thought defensively, the little things, Sean. Um, I thought did a wonderful job on Corver. You know, it was a team effort, but Sean, everyone we've asked him to guard, he's done a great job. How about uh, Mirza in the second half there? How about his job hitting those big shots? Well, that's what he does. You know, uh, we've always, you know, counted on him to be able to knock down the three, and uh, tonight, you know, he did that for us. Uh, but again, you know, we can look at his offense, but I thought his defense was big for us too, being able to switch on smaller players and be able to keep them in front. Jason, you said before the game you're going to keep Andre around the same number of minutes. I think he played 21, 22. What, what was what was able to get him up to play that many, and what did you see from him in that many minutes? I thought it was 14. Um, he played 21? Wow. Um, <laughs> that wasn't quite a play in there? Uh, I think we stretched him a little bit. Uh, he will let us know if he wants you know, to come out. But you know, I thought AK was a, a, a big plus for us. Uh, Offensively and defensively, and uh, we probably stretched him a little bit farther than we wanted to with the 21 minutes. But again, he was effective for us. Jason, uh, you guys have matched your longest winning streak of the season now, and a couple of good teams coming up: Golden State, Miami coming in here. How do you feel about just the way things are going? With are you ready to kind of test yourselves against those kind of teams? Uh, they're all good teams. This league, uh, you know, they're all NBA teams. So we, no matter who we play, we have to be ready. Um, and we have a team in Golden State that's hot. Um, I, you know, I think they've won nine in a row. Um, they're a team that can put, the, you know, put a lot of points on the board. They have some very talented guys over there. They're well coached by Mark. So uh, we're going to have our hands full, but we got to come with the same effort that we have since you know 2014 started. You've talked about depth on the team pretty much all year, but have you been around a team all in your career where you had to have a, this, your depth challenged this much so soon in the season? Uh, I've never been on a team or seen a team go through all the injuries that we've gone through um, from the be you know from the summer to uh, to today's date. You know, there's been a lot of injuries, and you know, it just shown it just shows how deep we are and the character that we have in that locker room to compete and uh, give the effort, and you can see that. Uh, Jason Joe had obviously been struggling. I mean, he'd gotten shots, just hadn't knocked them down. I mean, how nice was it to see him, you know, get in the scoring column and have a big game? Well, we leaned on him a little bit tonight uh, with, with Darren out. Uh, we went to him a lot more, uh, and he responded. You know, he had a lot of great looks. Um, again, he understands time and score, and he made some big shots down the stretch for us. But, you know, not just looking at his offense, again, defensively, you know, being able to switch and understand and recognize that he might have to guard smaller guys tonight. I thought he did a wonderful job. Jason, uh, jumping back to Toledovic, I know you weren't here with him last year, but what kind of growth have you seen in him, and what's been the most impressive thing about him? Well, I think, uh, you know, his, his basketball ability, his IQ, um, you know, he's not a second-year player. Um, he's been playing probably since, you know, professionally for a long time. And so I, I think um, for him it's just his, his confidence of being able to be productive on the court. And uh, when he comes on the court, his teammates believe that and the coaches believe that. And it's nice, you know, to see that he's, you know, being rewarded with the, all the hard work that he's put into.